So we talk a lot about audio here on my channel in DaVinci Resolve, and let's say you created an awesome mix, you got your EQ set, some dynamics, you got some effects on there, you like it, it sounds great, and you don't want to have to create that over and over and over again. again. Yeah. But today we're talking about how to save different kinds of audio presets right here in DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump in and check this out. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and you need to jump into the Fairlight tab in order to save these audio presets. So right now I am here in the edit tab. You want to jump into Fairlight, which is the little musical notes over here at the bottom. Click on that. Now let's say, as you can see here, I've got some effects on my tracks as well as some dynamics. I worked with my EQ a little bit. So I want to save this as a preset so I don't have to do it again. Now there's different kinds of presets we can save. You can save just one particular part, like just the effects. You can save just the dynamics or just the EQ, or you can save the entire track. So here's how we do that. You want to come up to the top of the screen here to the Fairlight menu. Come on down to Preset Library. Now, when it opens up, it's going to look like this. And we see right here we have Filter By. Now, if you click that drop down, here are the different ways that you can create presets. We've got Just Equalizer Presets, Just Dynamics, Just Plugins or Effects. We have a Global Track Preset, which allows us to save all of the changes on a particular track. We have a Global Bus Preset, which allows us to save all of the settings on a particular bus. And then you also have some Fairlight configuration presets if you're interested in that. So those are the different presets you can save. Now, how do you do it? All right, so once you're in the preset library here, all you have to do is just click on the track. So all these over here are the tracks that you have in your project. And if you name them, it makes it really easy to find them. If not, it's just gonna be labeled, you know, audio one, audio two, whatever. So let's say for example, I want this one, my 60D, MKE 600, which if I look over here, 60D MKE 600. So I know which one is which. In this case, I just want to save an EQ preset. So I can come on over here, hit save new, and it'll pop up this window right here. And you can either update one you've already got, or you can go ahead and create a new one. If you hit create a new one, it's going to pop up the preset name window for you. You name it, whatever you want, something that makes sense to you. Go ahead, click OK, and it's going to save it. So I'm just going to call mine uh, test. Hit OK. And boom, there we go, it's right at the top. Now, that's how we save it. How do you apply it? If you wanted to apply a preset, and this holds true for any one of these presets, whether it's an EQ, Dynamics, Global preset, you save them and apply them the exact same way. So to apply them, you would just select whatever your preset is on the left here. So uh, let's say in this case, I wanna do a classic vocal EQ preset. Since I have an open track here, for example's sake, let's just click on uh, Audio 6 right here and we want to apply this EQ preset to there. Now, you can apply the preset to multiple channels. As you can see here, I have two boxes highlighted. So if I go ahead and click apply now, it's going to apply to both of those tracks. I don't want that. So I'm just going to click on this guy again. So now I only have one track selected and then go ahead and click apply. And now over here, you can see that it applied that EQ preset of the classic vocal to our channel. So one quick thing to note is that these EQ presets are for a track level. So you want to use it in Fairlight. You're going to see if you try to open the preset library in the edit tab, it's not going to work. It's going to be grayed out. You can't open it. So you're not going to be able to save specific settings and apply it to a specific clip because you may or may not know you can apply audio effects and things to clips, but you can't save that as a preset. You can only save track level things as a preset in the Fairlight tab. So that's important to keep in mind. So the presets are easy to make. They're easy to use. And my favorite is the global preset. Now, I like that one because in my studio here, I've got the same setup. I got the same boom mic up here and my situation doesn't really change too much. I set all my settings up for the entire channel. I set my EQ, my dynamics, my effects, set everything the way I want it. And then I save that as a global track preset. So if you have the same setup like I do, it's super helpful and makes it real quick to just edit your audio. It can really be a one click thing if you got a setup like I do where you're not moving around a whole lot. Now, if you are out running gun, Obviously, you're going to be in different environments and maybe you want to make a couple different types of presets, you know, and that can come out handy too and just help speed up your audio workflow. So that's it for this one, guys. Love me some audio work here in DaVinci Resolve. I do have those EQ presets if you're interested in those and I'm working on another pack that's going to be like a EQ modifier pack to help you add a little more bass, maybe a little more uh, clarity, that kind of stuff. So keep an eye out for those if you're interested in that. And uh, with that said, that wraps up today's Quick Tip Tuesday, guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.